show you this job I'm doing here real quick. This is a still BR600 backpack blower. They're a Formix engine, so they have a set of valves, and uh, they run mixed fuel, but they're a four-stroke. And they make trimmers, blowers, tillers, hedge trimmers. Um, most of their line has gone to this style of engine. They unfortunately have one drawback, is that these valves, the exhaust valve and the intake valve, need to be gapped um, every certain amount of hours on an interval. Usually you can tell it's time by when you try to start the blower or the, the engine. Uh, on compression, it, it jams up really, really tight and you really have to yank this thing over to start it. Um, when these are adjusted properly, there's very little uh, pullback on the recoil and they're really easy to start. You probably notice that when it's brand new and then after about 80 hours, it becomes difficult to pull and start. Also, these are known to flood when uh, it's time to um, do the valve adjustments. They tend to suck in a little more air fuel and flood out so they're harder to start. So what you do, is you take off the cover. One, two, three, four bolts. Then you take off the recoil. One, two, three. Take, take this off first, take this off. Take off that cover. It's got one screw there, one screw there. Take off the valve cover. Valve cover. And take your 10 gauge from still, slip it underneath, bring your motor to top dead center, and what you want to do is find the spot where when you adjust this nut down, it begins to grab onto the tip of this feeler gauge. Just want it to just slightly grab and pinch. When you start, it'll be like this. Super loose and sloppy, no grab at all. And when you adjust this down a couple degrees, you only have to turn it maybe an eighth of a turn tighter to start to get a grab. And that's basically how you set your valves. Put back together the valve cover, you can get a new gasket for it, and, uh, and a new sealing washer for the bolt. Throw your parts back on, and you'll find this thing a lot easier to start. And so if you've got that flooding problem, you probably take care of that as well. Cool? Thanks for watching.